case studies. Case studies are singular examples and can vary in size and composition. For example, we could have a case study of planning in a large city or a case study of an individual. Case studies share some similarities with ethnographies. White Street Corner Society, for example, while being ethnographic, can also be seen as a case study. That is, it focuses on the complexities of one example, a particular slum neighbourhood. Other case studies have focused on an individual. A classic example is Shaw's 1930 study, The Jack Roller, which focused on the life story of a delinquent. Another example is The Family, such as the research by Eins and McKee in Glasgow and published in 2006. Whatever its location, size or focus, a case study approach attempts to account for complexity and depth. Case studies not only employ qualitative methods, but can also involve surveys and other quantitative methods. How are case studies selected? While anything can be a case in point, there are some general typifications that Bryman outlines in 2008, where there are four broad types of case studies. A critical case, one where a hypothesis can be tested, for example the study by Festinger et al of a flying saucer cult in 1956 when prophecy fails which tested the theory of cognitive dissonance. The unique case, one which is extreme or unlikely to be repeated, for example the Jutta Weld's 1999 book on the Cuban Missile Crisis. The revelatory case, when the investigator has a chance to examine something that has not been looked at before and is thus being revealed for the first time. The study by Festinger et al. also fits this category, as it was the first time such a cult had been studied. The exemplifying case. This is where the case study is undertaken because it exemplifies or represents a typical situation of the time. A classic example of this is Wilmot and Young's Family and Kinship in East London. Originally published in 1957 with a new edition in 2007, is a portrayal of working class life which was typical for its time. In this example, you can see how an ethnography can also be considered a case study. A variant of the exemplifying case is where one is chosen because they will provide a context in which research questions can be addressed. An example of this kind is the internet, an ethnographic approach which is a study of IT use in Trinidad by Miller and Slater 2000. A common criticism of case studies is that as each one is unique, you cannot generalise from them. However, what they do is to show detailed processes at work and as such are good at revealing complexity and the consequences of certain actions. From that we can infer that under similar circumstances, similar processes would be observed. So in summary, Ethnographies have a lot of similarity to case studies, but not all case studies are similar to ethnographies. The difference is one of method and the involvement of the researcher in the research process. Neither case studies nor ethnographies strive for representativeness or generalizability. They are concerned with in-depth analysis of particular social phenomena and a more naturalistic approach. They are not predictive in the way that some surveys can be.